guys, welcome to the humanity and welcome to another Let's Try. Today's Let's Try, we are doing the Studio C colored pencils. I picked these up on an Ollie's run over the weekend. Um, I also got some nice Sargent Art colored pencils, which I did another video on. So I you know, could show you how those did. But this time we are going to try these guys. Studio C 48 colored pencils, pre-sharpened. This is the back, nothing too fancy there like, you know, for any of that, but let's give these guys a try. Uh, I already opened this part, so I wasn't doing a lot of noise on camera, but let's dump these out. And there's going to be pencil noise, but you know, that's like an ASMR thing, huh? Okay. Okay. I will say first off, first blush, there are a lot of green. Not an over, like, not a, an abundance of, like, too much green, but there's a lot of green in these pencils. This is just the handful that I picked up, and look at all the greens. <laughs> um, other sad part, they do not have color names on them. That is something I'm not really fond of. Um, not that it matters wholly for any particular reason, I just really like color names. Um, here's the other part of the set good amount of pinks and purples and pink uh, oranges and yellows but there's a lot of green and blue um, so let's try these out now when I did the sergeant art I did them on bend in paper this is 50 farmers miniatures and so this is the Amazon paper so I'd like to see what these guys do on Amazon paper as soon as I find the black one again there we go and something I forgot to do for the Sergeant Art, and I will try to do for these, is to see how they sharpen. I know they're pre-sharpened, but I want to see what happens when I put them in my electric sharpener. Okay. Oh, uh, straight off. These are not great. Um, I will use them, obviously. I, I purchased them. That, that's kind of the point. But they are scratchy, hard and scratchy very very scratchy so this is definitely a case of now the other thing is I may sharpen them and it might change it because this is like the initial first coating of whatever might be on it so let me make a little noise pardon me oh boy okay they do sharpen nicely as you see I did get a good point after like two little two little pushes not ter not terribly difficult so let's try this eye and see if it got any better after sharpening. Yep, okay. They might be pre-sharpened, but you might want to run them through a sharpener a second time just to sort of get any kind of manufacturing coat, coating off of it or something because this is a little better. They're still, on the Amazon paper, they're pretty scratchy. Um, but they leave a pretty good color as far as pigment goes. I mean, I'm using black, so I can't really give you much there. But I am going to pull out some of other colors so you can kind of see what the other colors look like. But the, that's the black. That's before sharpening and after sharpening. It is definitely a matter of you're going to want to crosshatch to get all of your white space clear, cleared out and get more color down. And that's fine. It's kind of something that I learned that works really well. Also, I've also learned that doing the cross hatching method works really well with water based markers. So, if you have like streaky water based marker issues, I find doing a second run of it in the opposite direction actually cleans it up. So, all right, so the, the jumping chickadee has overalls on. Let's make those blue. And again, no color names. Um, so I feel like if you are a person who must swatch, you're going to want to swatch, even though you can't really tell what they are. This might be a swatch as you go kind of pencil, which, um, for any beginning coloring person, uh, especially for pencils that don't have any color names on them. I recommend keeping a, sl a scrap of paper or cardstock uh, close by so that you can um, swatch as you go before you lay down a color. Unless you just want to throw a caution to the wind and say to hell with it and just lay down the color and hope for the best, which I do. 
I like to live on the edge sometimes, but also if I'm working on something very particular and I want to make sure that I don't ruin the whole page by putting a color down, I will swatch first on a piece of paper. Um, but it's also good too to swatch on a piece of paper to get colors if you're going to do some shading and, and blending and things that you want to um, do that. Now I'm going to try with a darker blue to see if I can't add some shading to this, but I'm going to put it out there that I don't have a lot of faith that these are going to be blending shading pencils. Um, these are going to be straight color pencils. I don't foresee being able to do fancy work with it. I could be wrong. I don't do a lot of fancy work in my coloring. So um, if someone has these and wants to prove me wrong, I am all for that. I'd be very curious to see how it would work to do fancy blending and shading kind of stuff. But let me see if I can't lay down a darker blue and see if that does anything. Let's see. Darker blue, darker blue. Where is there a darker blue? This will work. Wait, nope, that's better. It might be kind of purplish, but we're going to lay it down without checking and hope for the best. Ah, these are a little too waxy and hard to really get. Like, I'm concerned that I'm going to eat the paper if I start pressing harder on this. So, if you're one of those people that does not do things like this in your pictures, like shading or like blending colors, probably okay to use these. But if you're a blender shader, which I do blending and shading uh, sometimes, I'm not going to do them with these pencils at all. I might try on the feet to see if I can change anything. Let's try the feet. So let's try what I'm guessing is like a yellow orange. Godspeed, here we go. Yep, that's a yellow orange for sure. These two have the same thing I ran into with the Sargent Art where you have to really kind of give it a give it a hard go to get some color out. Not uncommon in cheaper pencils. Not a deal breaker for me personally. Um, but if you're someone who has arthritis issues, hand issues, these are not the pencils for you. You're going to want something softer that's a bit easier to lay down pigment. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. Looking out for you guys and letting you know this is not something you want to play with if you're, if you have hand issues. So, so okay. Yay! So, laying down the orange on top, like on the ends of the feetsies, that's not horrible. Again, this is work to get this down. Um, it's not bad. You can, you can blend and layer. Now, I'm not going to try to like say bring out my blender pencil and try to push all this together because that would probably eat the paper right up. So we're not going to play that game, but this just gives you an idea of what it would look like if you tried to be a little fancy. Let's see. Let's try like a pink. I want to see what their pinks look like. I am going to try the greens because not... Dude, there are... Out of these 48, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 greens out of 48 pencils. 12 of them are green. Somebody was thinking about Johanna Basford books when they made this set of pencil. That's a lot of green, guys. Like, whew, that's a lot of green. So let's try pink on this bow and see how that comes out because I like to I like to try to use colors that I know should should be or I'd like them to be heavily pigmented and not oh my gosh this is rough this is definitely rough so I don't think I would say buy this again to replace them um, anybody that any colorist can make anything work I mean I can make these work obviously I mean and they do and it's not frustrating it's just you know they're not my Artizas or my Prismas or Polychromos they're you know or even hell crazy art's better than these but 
But then again, I am a, I'm a sucker for crazy art. I love my crazy art pencils. You will take them out of my cold, undead hands. Um, I might be like an award-winning something or other. I might get, you know, I don't know. I might suddenly become a famous colorist on YouTube or Instagram. I will still, to the day I die, use crazy art pencils. They are so good. They have so many great colors, and they're so rich. Now I'm trying to lay down, hold on, noise. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Sharpener, for your input. I'm trying to lay down a darker purple color over this pink, and nope. That is a no-go, ladies and gentlemen. Not the best at blending and shading. So, we know Studio C is good for straight coloring, not for blending and shading. One of those good to know kind of deals. So let's do, before we uh, end the video, let's try one of these 12 greens for the grass down here and see how this goes. Again, no color names, not even sure what kind of green this is, but we're about to find out. It is like a moss green. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I hate the lay down of it, but I don't hate the color. Yeah, this stuff is, when, I, um, when I'm done filming videos and I'm going to sit down and color, I'm going to pull out my Artezas, I think, for a few minutes and color with those just to get my, me back in the, ha, ah, yes, mode of coloring where it's like, yes, color is going down easily and beautiful and it's smooth and, now I am curious to try these in other books just to see. Uh, how it goes. I know I will not be trying them in like Lulu Mayo. Uh, I think they're way, way too hard for that. Um, maybe Millie Murata, but Millie Murata is like one step away. One degree of separation from Lulu Mayo is in terms of paper difficulty. Yeah, this is not... Hold on. I wonder if this is going to be the sharpening issue. Yep. But this is just not laying down at all for pigment. These may end up being donated. I may donate these to the pantry in our apartment complex. I may donate them to like a library or something or yeah. I mean for kids drawing and coloring this would be great. I don't think I'm going to keep these. I am keeping the Sergeant Art though, because I really like those. But these, I think, are going to be a donation. I mean, I'm out five bucks. I'm not crying about it. You know, it's not it's not bothersome. It would have been nice to have another cool budget pencil in my uh, repertoire of pencil sets. But, uh, no. These are kind of crap. I mean, that's just, this is the soft, like, so this is some of the softest paper known to man. I mean, this is, and now I'm like, well, I just lost this picture, which kind of sucks. I'll just color the rest of it in something else and hope I can salvage the grass because, wow, this is butts, guys. Total butts. Well, you know what? These Let's Tries weren't all going to be gems, right? Definitely not gems. All right, so Studio C. Oh, I forgot two pencils in the case. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Number Whatever. rating, what would you give it? On a number rating, like out of 10? Yeah. I would give it like a two out of 10 for sure. These are kind of crap. But like I said, I will donate them. Maybe somebody in the apartment complex would like them. Um, you know, we have that pantry that we started in the laundry room and I've put other stuff out there that's not food that's gotten picked up by somebody maybe somebody will pick these up I know there's kids in the building maybe someone will like them for their kiddos so there we go guys Studio C is a bust if you enjoyed my adventure into crappy budget pencils I would appreciate maybe a little bit of a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video